How to create a better character backstory. Hello, you beautiful people of RPG land, and welcome to How to Be a Better RPG Player on Saving Throw. I'm Amy Vorpal, and today we're taking a look at character backstories. Your GM will probably have you decide why your character's on the adventure in the first place, and have you form some bonds with the other player characters. If not, definitely do that. But the following six big fat tips are for players who want to build out a larger backstory and gain the most out of that backstory in game. So let's jump in. Let your backstory inform your character sheet. Looking for an order of operations? I've got one. Choose a race and class and read up on the lore for both, then create slash write your backstory, and then build your character sheet and make mechanics decisions based on the backstory. That leads me to... Plan for encounters! In game, you will have both social and physical encounters. Paint how your character usually handles both in your backstory. Include descriptive paragraphs of your character dealing with someone attacking them, and some more prose that can include dialogue, describing your character successfully handling difficult conversations or negotiations. On the character sheet, look for abilities, skills, and spells that fall in line with your descriptions. You might even be able to get away with using some of what you wrote as flavor text in game. Bonus. An important NPC in your backstory. Besides having incredibly special bonds with your co-player characters, include a person in your backstory that your character super duper cares about, like would die for, like would give up the last slice of pizza for. To get a little bit meta here, this is someone juicy that the GM can surprise you with later on in game. Your character's not really alone. This one might stir up some contention. I've actually seen all alone backstories done really, really well, like revenge stories, stuff like that. But for the most part, backstories that leave your character as an orphan or the lone survivor of a clan, they don't really bind you to anything the GM can use to help you tell your story. Obviously, characters in an RPG are special or heroic or somehow stand out from the crowd, so a stronger choice might be that you think you're an orphan because you think you saw your parents get murdered in taken away, but you're not sure. Or you're an outcast, you never really fit in. Or you've chosen to leave your loved ones for an important but conflicted reason. Basically, your character didn't arrive at this moment in time through a vacuum. So be specific about what and who came before, and also make your character care about them. The super objective. This is a term used in acting technique that basically means the ultimate goal of your character that presides over the whole story, even if it seems to be in the background sometimes. You can usually find the super objective by asking, where do I want to be in blank, blank, blank many years? Your objective will usually be to complete the quest that your party is on, but the super objective is not implicit to the plot the game master has developed. It's all yours. For instance, your super objective is to open a donut shop, but your objective right now is to slay the monster holding the town's children hostage because the gold you'd get from it might provide a good nest egg to start your shop. The game master created the problem with the monster, but now you have a reason to go on this adventure and probably many more throughout the campaign. Keep in mind, a super objective is not one that's easily achieved. Bonus points for coming up with some obstacles that would prevent you from achieving your super objective. Some examples might be an intense donut shop competition, or a family who does not approve of you owning a donut shop, or just an intense amount of paperwork and bureaucratic nightmares needed to get your donut shop off the ground. No more writing fears, or no mofo, be a. This is a bonus tip. If you want to build out a bigger backstory, it just might mean sitting down and writing something that you'll probably share with another person. So hurry and get over your phobia of writing, if you've got one. Uh, we all have one. <laughs> I recommend these two books to help you out. The Artist's Way, by Julia Cameron and Bird by Bird by Anne Lamott. The biggest points to take away from both books are, one, the actual sitting down and doing of the writing is tough for even writers, so you're not alone. Number two, embrace the terrible terrible first draft. And three, used timed journaling and stream of consciousness writing to help you get started. If you're still having trouble with the voice of the narrative, read a few pages of prose from a book in the genre you're playing, whether it's a rule book from the game or a novel that seems similar in tone, and then start writing your character as if it's a chapter from that book. And now it's time for a player shout out! Ooh, 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 ooh. I'd like to highlight a player who puts a lot of effort into their character backstories, who provides meaty narrative that people can relate to, and also works with their game master to create intriguing moments of role play. So check out Megan Caves on Wildcards. You can find her on social media at Megan Caves. 
Thanks again for watching. I'd love to know what you think. What are other ways you can enhance a character's backstory? Tell us in the comments below, and as always, feel free to ask questions. Remember to like, subscribe, and give a tiny tap on the tiny bell for notifications when we drop new videos. Until next time, bye! Thank you.